There's outrage in San Diego tonight as parents learn teachers from the San Diego Unified School District are teaching migrant children in person, while American students in San Diego are still remote learning right now. The district says the problem is taking place during spring break, and it's giving teachers an opportunity to volunteer to teach migrant ch children. But teachers' union cited safety concerns for not returning to the classroom. So do they feel safer teaching migrant children? Joining me now, San Diego parent Leslie Hoffmeister. Leslie, welcome to the show. How do you feel? Hi, Rachel. Hi, it's so great to have you here. Uh, how do you feel? I mean, there are, is that the message? We feel safer teaching migrant kids than we teach that we feel teaching American kids in our beautiful schools? You know, I am a mom of three children, and I had to endure some of the um, just hardship and the horrors of Zoom school. Mm -hmm. And i have also a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I work with clients of all ages, many youth and teens who are suffering from the social isolation that we're not meant to live alone. We're not meant to be alone. We need to be in community. And I have been part of a group that has been pleading with with our school district and uh, to open our schools since September and they have not listened to us. And so I can't make sense of this. It doesn't make sense that now we, you know, we hear that it's a moral obligation and we hear that it's our constitutional right for education for our children and in-person education. And, and how does this make sense that we can now offer in-person to the migrant children who just showed up and we have locked our students out out of the classroom for over a year, they have denied our children the right to in-person education, and it is a moral obligation to get them back in the classroom. Absolutely. I mean, I just can't imagine, just even as a taxpayer, this is just so outrageous. They took millions of dollars um, from the relief package, and they're still not back, and then they say, we're going to go over and teach the migrant children. Um, I've got a full, I've got a statement from the San Diego Office of Education I want to read you, and maybe you can react after this. They said, all children in California, regardless of immigration status, have a constitutional right to education. We also have a moral obligation to ensure a bright future for our children. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, so so how can you say that, that you're speaking out of two sides of your mouth? How can we prioritize with such a sense of urgency the migrants that just showed up in our city and have denied access for over a year despite the pressure and the pleading of parents to return our students to the classroom? We have been told that it is not safe. We have been told that they are following the science. We have been told that they have UCSD scientists and experts that are guiding this decision. But the truth is, our politicians in this state, along with our unions, as well as our district officials here in San Diego Unified, are failing our students, and they're using my children and all these other 100,000 students as political pawns in a game that is unacceptable, and it needs to stop. Absolutely true. Leslie, my kids have been in school um, since the fall. They're just fine. We all know that, guess what, 94 million Chinese kids are also in school right now. I'm praying for your family. Um, thank you for the work you, you do, especially with mental health. That is such an important issue. And we wish you and your family all the best as we hopefully see your schools open in April. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Leslie. It's wonderful having you.